Hey y'all, it's Sophie. This is part four of our trip. This one's starting out right where the last one left off. It should be eventful considering we are making our way back to Texas now. This is the view off our campsite. It's amazing. And then there's a cabin over there. Maggie's not allowed over here. She would jump off the ledge. We are getting ready for bed. It looks so weird. Ready. We made some dinner. I didn't share it just because I'm like paranoid about bears right now. <laughs> Maggie's under the covers, so <laughs> we'll see you in the morning. Just made it into Pagosa and I took a shower. I feel so good. Uh, now we're gonna find a place to fill up water and then we're going to park and walk around the town. Bubbles. Okay. We walked around Pagosa Springs. And we parked in Natural Grocer's parking lot, so we got some food. Maggie's acting like she doesn't like blueberries. I know she likes blueberries. I also know this. We need some fruit in our life. We don't have fruit in weeks. And these are good. She made me get her this. She was pulling them all off the shelf, so I had to get her one. That was twenty three dollars. The middle space between Pagosa and Durango is so beautiful, and I saw it in the snow, so it did not look like this at all. Like, look at that. It, it looks like East Texas, to be honest, but like with mountains. East Texas with mountains. All sort of things, but not like humongous mountains either. And San Juan Mountains, this would be a great place to retire. I <laughs> think about retirement, I'm 21 years old. Like, yeah, this is the place. This is where you'll find me. Hopefully this trip to Durango is just as good as it was in the winter time. Um, because it's one of my top favorite places in that I've ever visited. Like it's pretty touristy, but something about it just reminds me of like Austin. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I see that, and it just like excites you when I go. <laughs> like obviously, my car could make it up there. So exciting. Looks like adventure. To know what my hair looks like because I just brushed out a big old dreadlock. I mean, probably should do that. But I'd like to know what it looks like because I know I have one here. But I just brushed out one down here. It's coming back. Oh, not sure why when I had dreadlocks they wouldn't lock up, and now they're locking up like without me doing a single thing. I tried to go to Durango, and there was just way too many people there. We couldn't find parking. We're at our campsite now, it's near Piedra Creek or something like that. Maggie's so tired. She's so tired. This is the first night that I've made it. Uh, or my one friend that I always tell, so um, they're not mad because I couldn't help it, so yeah. That's that for tonight. Look at this pine tree. Oh my gosh, Maggie. You can't even see the top of it. Like any of the oh no. <laughs> Good morning. Out to the camper. Uh, as far as made the bed and swept all of it out, and now I'm gonna make some coffee, and then we're probably gonna hit the road and head on to Red River. That way I can text my family, let them know I'm okay. Let's make this coffee. We're probably gonna eat some ramen for breakfast also, because that sounds delicious. Does that sound delicious? <laughs>
definitely afraid of bears, but like I wanted to see one before I left Colorado. Hey, I don't know what kind of bear it was because I don't know anything about bears. It runs almost onto the road and stops because it sees my car and runs back. I saw my bear. It was a small bear, but it was a bear and I'm so happy right now. We stopped off on the road. I tried to stop at the last one because it was prettier, but uh, we were going too fast downhill, so we didn't get to do that. Maggie, get over here. I'm gonna knock this dog out. He could fall off the mountain right now, and that would be the end, and I would be devastated. Maggie! Okay, bye-bye. Bye. I'm leaving you. Yeah, I got her now. I got her now. <laughs> Alright, get him. The Rio Grande. You can't see anything, but it's gorgeous. Maybe we'll stop on our way back. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, all day long. I think I got it on video. I was gonna make this ramen, but then my propane stopped working again, so I'm excited to be home. Overhaul the camper, overhaul the car. to Amarillo. <laughs> We're in one of the many spots and there's a Subway and a McDonald's across the street. So I may need some little snackies. I need some snackies in the morning. I'm really having that ramen from this morning. Okay, so walking Maggie right now before head out, but um, couldn't get into the bathrooms here. And I took a shower. I just thought this video was over. Winters, Texas, one year winters, right before winters, and my car broke down because it ran out of gas. Luther was sent from Bob. He was just a kind of country boy from Brownwood, Texas. Five gallon gas tank in my car. It wasn't filled because I have a propane tank back there and I didn't want to mix the two. My phone's overheating because it's literally 109 degrees out here. So now I'm pulled up. My lesson is learned. <laughs> I'm editing the video right now of the end of my trip, part four, I think. I didn't make a outro, so thank y'all so much for watching. Go watch the other videos if you haven't and look for some more in the future. Now we're in Oklahoma, so if you want to see that, look for more videos.